that uh, Arizona just passed a law that makes uh, abortion completely illegal in the state with the single exception of a doctor determining that the life of the mother is at risk, which, uh, as we've seen, typically means that doctors have to let women get so close to death that in many cases they're going to suffer you know, permanent sterility, permanent organ damage, uh, you know, permanent damage to their bodies and certainly to their minds. Uh, this is, it, we're just hearing horror stories all across the country from laws like this. But this law in Arizona is particularly interesting. It was passed in 1864, and the Arizona Supreme Court just said, well, yeah, this is now the law of the land. So where did this come from? Well, it turns out 1864, Arizona was not a state. It was a territory, a self-governing territory. And th this was right after the Civil War, or toward the end of the Civil War. And the problem that they had was these, uh, you know, the Jesse James types. They're, they're, and this was a problem across the West, by the way, was these uh, Civil War soldiers who had committed atrocities during the war. And the word, and, you know, and they had been with their own uh, military, uh, what, what would you call it, companies, battalions, groups, whatever, um, from their own hometowns. And so word had gotten back to their hometowns that, hey, Joe, Joe was, you know, raping women and, and killing children and, and uh, you know, mutilating bodies and stuff. And so they just literally were not welcome back home. When you look at some of the, the famous villains of the Wild West, this is who they were. They, they were. they were psychopathic criminals who were Confederate soldiers who had committed such crimes during the war, during the Civil War, that their home communities literally didn't wa want them to come home. So they had to go out west. And Arizona Territory was filled with these people, and it was flipping them out. They had this crime wave going on. And so in 1864, the legislature for the territory uh, got together, September 26, 1864. And the first thing they did was they passed a, a collection of laws that their governor, William T. Howell, who was a judge, he wasn't really the governor, but he, you know, um, he, he had come up with this, uh, well, actually, the, the, it was called the Howell Code. And these were laws against, basically, violence. Uh, the, uh, the, for example, the section that deals with dueling, there shall not be duels, right? Made it illegal to, to not only engage in dueling or to, have, or to be a second for a duel, to have anything to do with a duel. But then the law takes on the issue of poisoning. And as it, it says, the, in the context of punishing those who secretly administer poison to kill someone, this is from Heather Cock Richardson's uh, Substack newsletter, heathercoxrichardson.substack.com. In, con in that context, the, the, the context of punishing those who secretly administer poison to kill someone, it says that anyone who uses poison or instruments, quote, with the intention to procure the miscarriage of any woman then being with child, end quote, would face two to five years in jail, provided quote, that no physician shall be affected by the last clause of this section who in the discharge of professional duties deems it necessary to produce the miscarriage of a woman in order to save her life. The next section warns against cutting out tongues or eyes, slitting people's noses or lips, or, quote, rendering useless someone's arm or leg. Again, this, these were, you know, anti-violence laws. This was not an anti-abortion law. But the Arizona Supreme Court, packed full of right-wing Republicans, says, oh yeah, it mentions abortion. It must, you know, must apply today. And so abortion is functionally illegal everywhere in, in Arizona. By the way, in that same law, there is this language, quote, no black or mulatto or Indian, Mongolian, or Asiatic shall be permitted to testify in court against any white person. In other words, they can't protect their property or their families or themselves and their white neighbors. It declared all marriages between a white person and a black person shall be absolutely void. And it defined, quote, the age of consent for sexual intercourse to be 10 years old. Right. And these, 
a portion of this set of laws is now the law in Arizona. This was a legislature of 27 white men who created a body of laws that discriminated against black people, said girls can consent to sex at the age of 10, and uh, adopted a body of criminal laws written by one guy, Judge Howell, in which he said that if you poison a woman, again, as a part of a criminal act, and it causes an abortion instead, you're guilty of a crime, you go to jail for two to five years. And that now is the law in Arizona. It doesn't get weirder than this. These, these absolute freaks pushing this stuff. This is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And yet, it's the law. Do you live in Arizona? Are you facing this? Is this, you know, how is this being received in the state? Is this backstory about this law widely known? I mean, I get Heather's newsletter or her Substack, yeah, her Substack newsletter, and I've seen it quoted a few places. I'm wondering if the mainstream media in Arizona is telling this story.